Chosen ones, the word is out. They can't believe how you completely silenced this group of haters. In this video, we'll explore how you stood firm in your truth, overcame negativity, and silenced their gossip through pure grace and power. Dolores, Canon's teachings will help you see how this moment is part of your greater spiritual journey. Get ready to see why your strength speaks louder than words. 1. You overcame their attempts to tear you down. When you are a chosen one, people often try to attack your character because they feel threatened by your light. Perhaps you noticed how a certain group of people were particularly focused on trying to bring you down. They used gossip, lies, and manipulation to try to diminish your influence. However, instead of fighting back, you remained silent and focused on your path. This attitude is what really made the difference. They expected you to crumble under the weight of their criticism and attacks, but you surprised them by rising with even more strength. And now all they can do is badmouth you because you did the unexpected. You gave them no power over you. According to Dolores Cannon, the Chosen Ones have a higher vibration that protects them from lower energies. And by not feeding their drama, you made yourself untouchable. What they meant by evil, you transformed into strength, completely dismantling their efforts. Now, they are left confused, unable to understand why their plans have not taken effect. All the negativity they have directed at you has come back to haunt them, leaving them speechless. They have spent energy destroying you, but you have used that same energy to build something even greater within yourself. This is why they continue to speak. Their failure is proof of your success. 2. Your silence was more powerful than words. Sometimes, the most impactful response is no response at all. When they were launching attacks against you, their goal was to provoke a reaction. Maybe they expected you to lash out or defend yourself, but you didn't fall into their trap. Instead, you maintained your calm and stayed on your own path. That silence spoke louder than any words ever could, serving as a testament to your inner strength and self-control. People who thrive on gossip and negativity feed off reactions, and by not giving them one, you strip them of their power. They crave drama, but you gave them stillness. According to Dolores Cannon's teachings, silence is a form of standing firmly in your truth without seeking external validation. It's as if you created an invisible barrier that shielded you from their negativity and reflected their energy back onto them. Your refusal to engage left them speechless because they couldn't understand how you stayed so grounded. Now they're gossiping, not because they succeeded, but because they're trying to rationalize how you outsmarted them so gracefully. You managed to shut down their entire scheme without even saying a word, and that kind of power is something they simply can't grasp. It's a strength that speaks to who you truly are, calm, composed, and unshakably strong. 3. You stood alone but not unseen. Being a chosen one can feel incredibly isolating, especially when a whole group seems to be united in their effort to bring you down. They might have thought that by outnumbering you, they had the upper hand. But what they failed to understand is that even though you appeared to stand alone, you were never truly by yourself. God's presence surrounded you, guiding and protecting you through every challenge. They weren't just dealing with you. They were up against a force far greater than they could ever comprehend. You see, when you're a chosen one, God's favor is upon you, and that's a strength that can't be shaken or overpowered. According to Dolores Cannon's teachings, chosen ones have a spiritual team that watches over them, offering strength, guidance, and resilience whenever needed. These haters were blinded by their own arrogance. They couldn't see the divine protection that enveloped you. So while they thought you were vulnerable and weak, they were actually witnessing the power of someone shielded by divine grace. Now that they're gossiping about you, it's not just your actions that they're obsessed with. They're baffled by the unseen strength you seem to draw from. To them, it was like you had an invisible army standing by your side, deflecting every one of their attacks. You might have appeared alone in the physical world, but spiritually, 
you were fortified. That's why no matter what they did, they couldn't break you. And now they're left confused, whispering among themselves, trying to figure out how you stayed so strong despite everything they threw your way. 4. Your aura silenced them. Every chosen one carries a unique, powerful aura that resonates deeply with others, even if they can't put it into words. When this group decided to target you, they didn't realize they were stepping right into your energetic field, a field that's safeguarded by divine light. Just by walking into the room, your presence alone shifted the atmosphere, making their attempts to tear you down seem feeble and insignificant. Even if they tried to hide it, they felt a sense of unease, as if they were battling something they couldn't quite see, but definitely sensed. Dolores Cannon's work touches on this concept, emphasizing how chosen ones carry a transformative energy that disrupts lower vibrations. You may not have said a word, but your aura did all the talking. It's like your spiritual light exposed their darkness, bringing their true intentions to the surface and making them feel small. They might have expected you to fight back or defend yourself, but instead, your very presence rendered their efforts powerless. What's happening now is that your light didn't just silence their words, it exposed their own insecurities. In the presence of your aura, their gossip and schemes seem trivial and meaningless. That's why they're left in a state of confusion, talking about you nonstop, not because you did anything to them, but because they're intimidated by the powerful spiritual presence you embody. They didn't stand a chance because you showed them that true power doesn't need to shout, it's simply asterisk is asterisk. And now they're left whispering in the shadows, stunned and unsure of how to confront someone who can silence them without even trying. Five, you reflected their true selves. Back to them. The reason this group is buzzing with gossip now is because in your silence and refusal to engage, you held up a mirror to their behavior. They expected you to react defensively, maybe even to lash out. But instead, you chose to remain centered and grounded in your own truth. This unexpected response made them uncomfortable because instead of you absorbing their negativity, it was bounced right back at them. It's as if they were looking straight into a reflection of their own insecurities, flaws, and intentions. Dolores Cannon often speaks about chosen ones being catalysts for change, mirrors that force others to see themselves for who they really are. This change is rarely easy or comfortable for the people around them. By standing firm and refusing to let their gossip or lies affect you, you left them with nowhere to channel their frustration. They couldn't use you as a scapegoat, so all their projections stayed within the group, intensifying their own inner conflicts. Now, they're left gossiping not because you did something wrong, but because you did something right. You exposed the cracks in their facade and revealed what they're unwilling to face in themselves. Their conversations about you are really just an attempt to deflect from the truth you reflected. They're trying to make sense of why their usual tactics failed and why they felt so seen and unsettled in your presence. In reality, it's not about you. It's about the darkness within them that your light revealed. Your silence forced them to confront themselves, and that's a truth they're not yet ready to face. 6. You set a new standard of power and integrity. What's truly driving them to gossip now is that you changed the game. They thought they could treat you like anyone else, using their same old tactics of manipulation, gossip, and drama. But you didn't react as they expected. Instead, you set a new standard, one that's built on power, integrity, and faith. You showed them what true strength looks like, the ability to rise above negativity without losing your peace. This completely threw them off, and now they're scrambling to understand what happened. Your response, or lack of reaction, created a ripple effect that's being noticed by everyone around you. It's not just the haters who were watching. Other people took note of your approach. They saw that you didn't stoop to the same level, and instead, you stood firm in your truth, letting your actions speak louder than any words. Now, those who once followed the gossipers are starting to see things differently. 
They're realizing that real power doesn't come from tearing others down. It comes from building yourself up with integrity and inner strength. Dolores Cannon teaches that chosen ones have a mission to uplift the collective consciousness. By refusing to engage in their toxic games, you didn't just protect your own energy, you elevated the entire situation. The gossipers, instead of winning over others with their negativity, are losing influence. They're left talking because they can't figure out how you manage to maintain your dignity and still come out on top. You've set a new benchmark for how to handle adversity, and it's inspiring others to follow your lead. This victory wasn't just yours. It was for everyone watching, proving that light will always outshine darkness. You are the embodiment of divine will, sealed by destiny. Their efforts have only served to elevate you higher. As they struggle in the wreckage of their own downfall, you stand tall, your light shining brighter than ever. Let this be a reminder. What's meant for you cannot be taken, and no earthly force can diminish the brilliance you carry. As you approach the end of your spiritual awakening, remember that each of these strange experiences is part of your growth and transformation. While it may seem unsettling at times, trust that you are exactly where you need to be. You have come this far, and the stillness, heightened sensitivity, and shifts in purpose are simply signs that you are evolving into your highest self. Embrace the changes, knowing that they are guiding you toward a more authentic and fulfilling path. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to comment, like, and share your thoughts below. And of course, subscribe to our Balanced Journey channel so you never miss out on new insights and spiritual guidance. Your support helps us continue to create content that resonates with your journey. Stay tuned for more and keep shining your light.